Good cop, bad cop. Bad cop. Baltimore City officials have shared the details of their investigation so far into the death of 25-year-old Freddie Gray, who died Sunday, seven days after he was gravely injured while in police custody in a paddy wagon two weeks ago. Ray, his leg looks broke. Look at his leg. Look at his leg. That boy's leg looks broke. His leg broken. Y'all dragging him like that. But the details have raised more questions than answers. On April 12th, around 8.39 a.m., Baltimore City Bicycle Patrol officers chase Gray down after he flees. They find a switchblade in his waistband. He gives up without any force being used. An officer does draw a taser, but it was never used. About five minutes later, the wagon driver radios the trailing officers for help in subduing an irate Gray. They shackle him in leg irons. They then make one more stop to pick up another prisoner. They are in separate cells in a wagon to keep them isolated. As the van rolls on for another 15 minutes, something happens that causes Gray to suffer three snap vertebrae in his neck. But at this point, it's unknown what causes it. There are no cameras in the van. However, witnesses on the street insist Gray was beaten by cops. That those officers immediately uh, need to be arrested and charged. You're dealing with murder. I want the truth. I think the people in Baltimore want the truth. And then when we get the truth, if the truth is what we suspect it is, then we will go into legal action. City officials are now scrambling to get to the bottom of the case, sharing as much information with the public as possible. Questions that many of you have are the same questions that we're asking. How was Mr. Gray injured? Were our proper protocols and procedures actually followed? Say with certainty that we have no physical, video, or any other evidence of an altercation that would have resulted this. So the question is how and why. Follow us down the rabbit hole. Visit the TomoNews.net website or download the app today.